fresh week. It's been an interesting day so far. I slept in a little bit, not super super late like like I do on the weekends, but yeah I just couldn't wake up, which is pretty typical for me, but it was still pretty dark. Uh, it was a very rainy morning. At nine o'clock it was not nearly as bright as it normally is in my apartment. That made it harder to wake up. Normally the light kind of wakes me up. I do have time built into the morning to relax, so I did. And then was able to get to work at about noon. Currently working through some Pomodoro cycles. I've done three Pomodoros so far, or I think this is, this might be the, I think this is the fourth one. That's going pretty well. So yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't rain while I'm on campus. I don't mind it raining while I'm at home working, but I don't really want it to rain when I'm out. It's different when it's a cold rain, because I can wear the proper attire, but when it's still 90 something degrees and high humidity, wearing rain boots and a rain coat and hat doesn't really work so much. So I'm more of a fan of cold rain than hot rain, <laughs> if I'm honest. I've been fairly productive. I've gotten, I'm at 699 words. My session target for today is 753. So I'm definitely going to hit that. I'm probably going to go a little bit over. I've gotten behind, which is why Scrivener has put my word target up to 753 words for the day. It was like 500 and I've just not written as much. Um, so that increases my target. So yeah, so I'm done been writing about Jackie Kennedy. I've got her biography and then the description of the two garments I'm looking at in this particular chapter. Anyway, I've been rambling. I need to shut up.
welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm exhausted. I really wanted to sleep in this morning, but I couldn't. Um, I just got done at therapy and I'm on my way to my next appointment and then um, coming back up uh, to my neighborhood and hanging out with a friend. So today will be a more relaxing day in some ways. Um, I'm not working on my dissertation as much. I need to do a little bit of work on it today, but I was super productive yesterday and Monday, so I don't mind slacking off a little bit today. And yeah, it's just, it's really hot. Actually, I have to be honest, it's not that hot. It hasn't been as hot as I feel like it normally would be for July. The rain has really cooled things off. This week it's getting back up into the hundreds, but like last week it was like 99, 98. A lot of the time I think we may have gotten up to 100, 101 once, but it was pretty nice. It's been more humid, but like going to campus, it really hasn't been that bad, especially by the time I get out at eight o'clock. Um, I'm not, you know, dying of heat stroke by the time I get back to my car. But today I can feel it's a little bit hotter, <laughs> but I'm hoping that the the relatively decent July doesn't mean that August is going to be really bad or that summer is going to last into November or something crazy like that. We usually pay for it somehow. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go to Starbucks and then get going down to my next appointment before I'm too late. Thursday. It's afternoon. It's about 1230. I've just gotten out of bed. I haven't eaten yet. I need to make something to eat. I just could not wake up this morning. It's just not a very good day. I'm feeling really upset about it because I did so well on Monday and Tuesday. And I was so focused and I was so productive and like I should have been writing and working on my dissertation 30 minutes ago. And even if I eat breakfast really quick, I, I don't, I don't think I can focus anymore, you know, in another hour or so. I still have to go teach. I don't have to leave for a few hours for that, thankfully. I need to call about my camera. I had emailed Olympus um, and they emailed back saying that they felt that they could definitely help me, but it's easier to do it when they're talking to me live on the phone. And so they gave me a phone number to call, but that's only Monday through Friday. So I have to do that tomorrow. There's no way I can do it. I can't even focus and I'm struggling to put together coherent sentences so I should not be dealing with phone calls today. I was tired yesterday but I managed to get up and go run my errands and do everything and I had fun with my friend. Uh, my friend Hannah came over after my last appointment. We just kind of hung out and chatted because she goes back to China today so it was our last chance to see each other before Christmas so that was good but it was still just, it was a lot just this this week so far has been a lot so I'm hoping if I just relax today go teach because I can't get out of that thank God it's Thursday it's the last day of teaching for the week this week was going so well compared to last week it might turn around tomorrow. Tomorrow will be better. We'll we'll try to hope for that. Tomorrow will be better. Hello and welcome to Friday. It's been another not so great day. Could not wake up. God, and I look a mess. I'm just I'm not doing well today. Um, this week is just, it started out really, really well, 
And then yesterday it just took a sharp nosedive. I have an update on the camera. So the update on the Olympus pen, I called Olympus um, and told them what was going on and they said that it, I'm gonna have to send it in, which when they emailed me saying that I needed to call them so they could troubleshoot it over the phone, it's like, what is there to troubleshoot? The camera is not turning on. Like, I didn't say anything more on the phone than I put in the email. And she's like, you're gonna have to send it in. Thanks, I know that. So now I've just got like hand scrawled notes, whereas if they would have just emailed me the instructions for sending it in, I'd have it all written down nicely. So there's a form I need to fill out online and then I'm gonna have to take it and ship it. They also want um, the receipt, so my invoice from Amazon, they said what she said was fine. Um, they just need something to show a date of purchase so that they know if it's still within warranty, which it is. Um, so I'm assuming I've, you know, I'm not going to get reimbursed for shipping it in, so I'm hoping the shipping costs won't be too much and hopefully it won't take too long for them to repair it and send it back. So that's the update on the camera and I will keep you all posted.